Blessings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Timothy Kinney from St. Matthew Lutheran Church and Early Childhood Center in Hawthorne Woods, Illinois, and welcome to the devotional moment. Yesterday, we celebrated 40 days after Easter, the Ascension of our Lord. One of the readings for Ascension is recorded in the last chapter of the Gospel according to St. Luke. Here, Jesus speaks to his disciples. These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. Then he did something quite amazing. And he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. Have you ever prayed for that? That the Spirit of Christ would open your understanding that you might better comprehend the Scriptures? St. John is quick to point out that it was not until after the resurrection of our Lord that his disciples remembered what Jesus had said. But talk about an epiphany. All of a sudden, by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Scriptures are opened to the disciples. And he, Christ, opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. Too often we think that it is us and our, our own understanding by which we are able to comprehend the scriptures. But that's not how it works. It is the Spirit of Christ that calls us by the word into a deeper understanding, a more profound comprehension of what Jesus has done for us. It is the perfect life of Jesus Christ that makes you and me holy by faith. Faith generated in us by the power of the Holy Spirit. It is the precious blood of Jesus Christ spilt on the tree of the cross that cleanses us from all our sins. Now there are two promises yet to come upon which we base our hope. As Jesus rose from the sleep of death, so will you one day. And as Jesus ascended into heaven, so will you one day to spend eternity with all the angels and the archangels and all the company of heaven. Do you understand these things? Do you comprehend the depth of what it means for you? If not, please pray that the Spirit of Christ open your understanding that you might better comprehend the scriptures. Let us pray. Blessed Lord, since you have caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, grant that we may so hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that by patience and comfort of your holy word, we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Until next time, may you pray that in the Spirit of Christ, he would open your understanding that you might better comprehend the Scriptures. And thank you for joining in this devotional moment.